what is up you guys it's not super early but it is it's pretty early um, I made it to Red Oak Texas where my best friend's parents live and I'm here for her birthday um, her birthday's Tuesday she'll be turning 27 so I came down to celebrate her birthday and then today I have a, another birthday to go to that I'll actually be filming, uh, not for my channel, for my friend Mike, um, Mike Camel. And then I'm going to be headed back to Oklahoma tomorrow morning. But I needed to come home, get some things straightened out, do some work, do some editing. Uh, busy, busy day today for sure. But um, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering if you're either new here or you've been around for a while. Why in the world would I want to live in a van all by myself? Um, especially in today's time. Well, I've been wanting to do a bus or a van for a really long time. Um, I really wanted to do a short bus and I'm, I'm glad that I didn't because driving this back, this already feels really big, like almost like I'm driving a truck, but a little bit different a little bit bigger in the back end it being a hole um, so I'm really glad that I went with the bus I mean uh, with the van first and then maybe down the line if I choose and I want to upgrade I'll go for a bus or maybe just a bigger van I don't know I figured I'd start small fill it out and then go from there <clears throat> and even before I jump into traveling a lot taking you know long trips and stuff I'll probably take a few small trips here and there just to make sure everything goes as planned and I kind of ease myself into it um, I don't want to get in over my head and that's something that I have done before just life in general we tend to get in over our heads and it happens uh, that's why you learn from it you go from it so now I'm trying to learn and I'm trying to take it slow and do the best that I can uh, but I've been through so much this last year. I going through a divorce, lost one of my best friends, lost my grandfather. Um, I definitely feel like I hit rock bottom. And sometimes I feel like it takes hitting rock bottom to really make a change in your life. And I feel like once I hit that point, it was like, okay, something's got to give. Something has to change. And I feel like I really dug myself out of that hole. And I was planning on doing a van before I had even seen Jason. But he happened to need me to sign some more papers. And so he had to come over and we, it was kind of weird at first, but we were able to talk and be civil. And uh, somehow or another, I wound up in Oklahoma and um, I was actually going to buy a different van. Um, it, it's better that I, I wound up with this one. The other van, I liked it. I liked what it looked like on the outside. It definitely wasn't as big and it wasn't a high top. Um, I wound up sending it to Jason and he looked it over and he basically told me why he didn't think it was a good idea that I buy that van. And we wound up finding this one. And like I always say, everything happens for a reason. And I'm really, really happy with this van in particular. We started gutting it already. We ripped out the carpet. Um, I think the next thing I'll do is probably flooring. I'm not sure. I'm not totally sure right now. But um, I think I, I feel like I'm getting sidetracked here. So why why do I want to live in a van? I've always loved traveling. Um, Jason and I have driven all over the southern part of the US. Um, so we, we would drive a lot and we would sleep in the truck and that was not comfortable at all. But it was super fun. I love driving, I love being on the road and I love, I'm the type of person who will drive the speed limit or a little bit under because I just like to cruise. I enjoy seeing the scenery and I enjoy just taking it slow and, and soaking in nature and I'm just that type of person. And this is something that I've been dreaming about doing for a few years now. So for this to finally be happening at this point in my life, I just feel like it's the right, I'm on the right path for happiness, I guess. I've been so sad 
the this last year and with everything going on in the world right now it is scary for sure um, I'll definitely keep protection on me but um I'm not gonna let the fear of what might happen hold me back I'm living every day by the day I'm just trying to live my life to live my best life basically um, I always put other people before myself it's just who I am that's how I've always been and for the first time in my life I'm putting myself first and I'm doing what I want to do and I'm I've, I truly feel like I'm happier and I feel like I'm in the best headspace that I have ever been and I don't know if that's just because I've been working on myself uh, mentally and physically or just that I'm getting older I don't know all I know is that I am happy now I'm living my dreams and I'm setting goals for myself that for once in my life I'm actually reaching and I don't know it's it's weird to think back on everything that I've been through and know that I'm coming out on top as far as I feel like I'm coming out on top versus who I was to who I am now. Um, it's it was a big decision for me to decide to move from Texas to Tennessee. Um, Tennessee will be my home base and I'll probably you know like start with smaller trips, go back home, I do have two cats. I will not be taking them with me. Uh, my brother will watch them while if I'm while I'm on the road, and I'll probably have a dog with me most of the time when I'm on the road. And um, I'm just looking forward to what the future has in store for me. I don't know what that may be, but I know that everything happens for a reason, and I'm right here right now for a reason. This is where I'm supposed to be. Um, you know, my car broke down in Oklahoma. I had to buy a van. You know, we scored on this van. So I feel like I definitely got lucky with this deal. I feel like, you know, Hammy was meant for me. Um, I decided to name him Hampton after my friend Crystal Hampton. Uh, she lost her battle, a uh, seven year battle with ovarian cancer late last year. And uh, I wanted to honor her by naming him Hampton. And I'm gonna call him Hammy for short, but I thought that that would be a really special name and <clears throat> a great way to honor her and, and kind of keep her with me all the time. Um, she was one of the strongest women I've ever known. And so if I'm ever feeling lonely or feeling down, I know that she's there with me and I can find strength in that through her. Uh, she's my guardian angel. So that's that. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video and kind of give you guys a little insight of how I'm feeling about everything right now. Um, I will be headed back to Oklahoma tomorrow morning. So um, Jason and I will be going live on my channel tomorrow night. Uh, so I hope you guys come and hang out with us and if you guys have any questions, tell me what you think about the name. Um, I love all the suggestions you guys have given me about the layout. A lot of you said to put the bed behind the driver's seat and I've been thinking about it. Um, so that might be something I will consider and I just love all the ideas that you guys have thrown out at me. So don't stop, keep them coming. Um, there's a lot of good, a lot of good solid advice that you guys have given me so far and the channels that you guys have told me to check out, I have been watching them all day today. Um, I do have a busy day today. I gotta go film some stuff and edit, edit, edit all day. I'll probably be up pretty late editing videos, but um, I just, yeah, I wanted to give you guys an update and I hope that you'll come hang out tomorrow. And make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel if you wanna keep up with the van build and the van life and all the, all the mistakes that might be made or the great ideas that come i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen but i look forward to finding out so i'll see you guys tomorrow bye